I had to say it right, ladies and gentlemen. Huh. Mm, you like that? That's crazy. You are now entered into the A&R room. Give it up for the one and only Rich Nice. Rich Say. Nice. Ah. Happy 2020. Happy 2020. First A&R room of the new decade. Yes, indeed, man. This might be the best one of the new decade. Uh, we got an artist today that is critically acclaimed. Uh, this dude is a composer, he's an arranger, he's a producer, he's a trumpeteer, he's a mastermind, he's a lyricist, he's a singer, he's a dancer, he's a fashionista. Mm. He does it all. <laughs> By way of Chicago, the dude studied uh, at um, the Miles, entered the Miles David trumpet competition early in the game and changed the trajectory of his life. Mm. Worked with everybody from Anderson Pack. Uh, from Logic, uh, from Prodigy, wow. uh, from Talib Kweli. Uh, it just keeps going. And uh, and he's here with us today, the one and only Maurice, Mo Better Brown. Hey. Hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, King? Yo, I'm not even doing your introduction, the, the, the service um, that it needs to have. You know, um, I know you've also worked with Dave Chappelle. Yep. Dave. Dave Chappelle. Wow. Um, down with the Free Nationals. Uh, John Baptiste used to be a member of his band. Oh, wow. <laughs> that says a lot. We love John Baptiste. Yo, how, tell me that story. How was John Baptiste, who's now the music director at the Colbert Show, was a member of your band? Yeah, man, shit. John used to be in my band, and he used to, he was young, super young. Like, I guess he was, what, 16 then? Uh-huh. 16, 17? <laughs> yeah. And uh, he used to be really, really quiet. You know, I remember seeing him all the time, and he would get on the piano and then kill it, but then get off and get real quiet. <laughs> I remember his dad came to me one day. It was like, uh, yo, man, how we get the John to do what you're doing? You know what I mean? Like, travel the world, you know, make records and do stuff like that. I said, man, you know, you got to be a little bit of a more extreme version of yourself when you're on stage because it's really quiet, you know what I'm saying? And then the next thing I saw him in rehearsal, I said, John, what's up? He goes, hey! <laughs> 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 and he's it, it, been it. the same ever since. I was like, <laughs> he never changed, you know? <laughs> but you guys both studied under um, Alvin Baptiste. Yep. But I, wasn't he a clarinet? clarinetist right yeah he was a clarinetist but he's also like a master uh, teacher and he you know had the theory down he had a, a thing called the root progressions that we studied uh-huh and totally opened up my um my whole plan and approach to improvisation okay speak yeah. on that because jazz i think at the core of jazz is improvisation yeah, right definitely. That, that's the radicalness of it unregimented ununiformed Right, unpredictable. Right, exactly. Okay, so speak to that. Well, with the whole thing with the root progressions, it's like it will show you different ways that you can play in one idea. So most people just play it one way, but the root progressions, you play it in all 12 keys. That's just the first section, you oh, know? Shit. You got different sections. The third section, you're going up. Minor thirds coming down, major thirds, mm -hmm. perfect fourths, perfect fifths. So every way you can play it, tritones, you play in that idea. And mm -hmm. that's what the root progression is all about, an anabolic inter approach to improvisation. Uh -huh. So it really opened me up big time. And so now when you play, we were talking about the set. He's doing a set tonight at um, at Blue Note with Anderson Pack. Who else is going to be there? Anderson Pack on the drums, uh, Ben Williams on the bass, James Francis on the keys, Isaiah Sharkey on guitar. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's going to be sick. It, let me ask you part of the reason for that, that inspiration to be so um, sharp when you improv. And, and we were having this conversation about, we were looking at the streaming list, the top 100 streaming artists, uh -huh. right? Uh, right now. And maybe 20 artists own all 100 slots. And out of those artists, a lot of them are in the same realm. They sound alike. Right. You know, sonically, even their vocal performance is all alike. Mm -hmm. Um, in jazz, how do you prevent that from happening? And, and how important is that? Well, I think, first of all, one of the most thing, important things of getting your own voice is writing. Okay. The more you write, <clears throat> the more your style comes out. It's like more effortlessly, instead of trying to imitate something to catch a vibe, you're, you're digging deep inside yourself to like to catch that vibe and to write that melody. So you, you're doing, you write something that only that you can write, only the way you can write. So when you're Improvise, improvise over, uh, spit your verse or whatever. You gotta keep that same energy. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep keep that newness, that freshness to it. 
mm-hmm. and um, just keep it truthful and honest, you know. Um, are, who are some like some of the artists? Now you rap too, right? Yep, I rap too. You nice? I'm pretty nice. Okay, we'll find out. I guess we okay. will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I see a lot of the artists you work with, um, and uh, you know, from Prodigy. I want to talk about Prodigy too, to uh, Talib Kweli. But when when you travel around the world and you look into your audience, what is the demographic that you primarily see? It's a lot of white people uh, in the in the jazz world, for uh-huh. sure. Uh, I think more now that get into different scenes and shit like uh like with AP this it's all mixed up. Anderson Pack, y'all. Yeah, Anderson is it's uh we got everybody out there. Uh-huh. Old, young, all kind of colors. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everybody having a good time, you know. So that's uh that's more of the the people we've been playing to lately. Uh-huh. But generally in the jazz uh, world, you're going to get more more white people coming to check it out. And you you want more brothers to come out cuz you know the brothers and sisters going to feel it too, especially yeah. the jazz that I'm doing. I'm doing it, you know, it's from it's from my heart, something they could connect to. So I feel like if they uh, get a chance to, and when they do get a chance to, they love it. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Like, uh-huh. uh, they they put all, they put everybody onto it. It spread like wildfire. Mm-hmm. But it, I guess I don't know what 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 that is about. You know, I guess it's kind of expensive too. The shows mm-hmm. they they be running from you know thirty five to seventy five bucks, yeah, hundred bucks or something like that. Some people be like, you know, I rather go do something else than go see some live music, you know? Yeah. But uh-huh. I don't know, but the people that come out love it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So it's not frustrating that it doesn't really get main, a mainstream grab, so to speak? Not not so much for me because I don't do it for that. Like, it's just all art for me. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm basically, I feel the same way if two people here, the 200,000 people here, mm-hmm. you know, 2 million people here. It's just, uh, I feel better just getting it out of, out of me because I feel uneasy when I have all these ideas and stuff going inside my head and my body, uh, I don't feel like I can rest easy. Like, I can't sleep well like that, you know? Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's so many ideas going all the time, constantly. A lot of the uh, pioneering jazz artists and, you know, jazz culture went hand in hand with drug culture. You know, yeah. is that still true today? Like, I think a lot of people are more uh, health conscious right now, uh-huh. especially in the jazz world right now, I'm feeling. So drug culture is not the biggest thing in the jazz world like it used to be. That used okay. to be the whole thing, the whole yeah. vibe, you yeah. know. Yeah. But cool. now, I mean, people uh, want to live longer and, you know, mm-hmm. they're learning from <laughs> the mistakes of, of our elders. Yeah. Okay. So, so y'all not bumping no heroin or nothing like that, right? <laughs> nah, nah, that's <laughs> not bumps. the vibe. That's yeah. not the vibe. Look at that brown stuff? Nah, nothing maybe. like that? Nah, little trees here and there. Yeah, right? you know, the flowers. <laughs> you know, you the got herbs, <laughs> the herbs, the herbs. You know what I'm saying? Herbals. Herbal essence, you know. Has, okay, so now that there's a de- decrease in substance abuse, is there an increase when it comes to just money, the bag? Because we've always, I think, a lot of times associated jazz with like a um, starving artist. Okay, yeah. Um, but I just wonder with having more people be like, or just at a younger age, say, I want to try this out, but is there going to be a check for me at the end of the day? Well, I can't speak for everybody else, but if you see my face, then I'm definitely getting the bag. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to see me there without getting the bag, so, I'm, you know, it's going to definitely be that way. This has been that way since I've been young, so yeah. since I was 16 years old, I started playing with Ramsey Lewis. You know, oh, that's okay. why I, I didn't know what I was doing. I was throwing in the fire, and I was mm-hmm. getting them checks. I was like, whoa. Wow. Uh-huh. You know, I had a, it's funny because I used to have a gig at a grocery store. I remember doing this, pushing carts and doing real good, like pushing all these carts and putting them up, and taking so much pride in it. Like, I'm going to get these carts done. They were like, man, you did so good, we're going to promote you to, like, paper and plastic. I said, "Where? okay. <laughs> so then I can't put this with this and that, and I did it so fast. <laughs> man, you doing so good, we about to promote you again. The most important job here, stocking the groceries. Because the first thing the consumer sees when it, if they're going to buy it or not. Mm-hmm. So everybody swagged out. You know, I'm stocking groceries and stuff. <laughs> like, really? So I did all that, you know. And I busted my ass doing that job. And I took a lot of pride in it. I was grateful to be working. Got that money. Then New Year's Eve came. And my friend called me. He was like, you want to do this New Year's Eve gig? I was like, cool. Just showed up and asked about how much it paid or not. I had the time of my life. And I left. And he gave me like four cases of champagne that was left. I put it in my trunk and we was just popping champagne all the time. Chicago is cold. He gave me this check. It was a check for $1,000. 
And I remember thinking like, man, this is more than I made all month hustling at that grocery store. Mm -hmm. All I gotta do is get good and get a bunch of these checks. <laughs> <laughs> and then the light bulb went off, you know, and I just started like really practicing, taking my, my craft really seriously and um, you know, not not messing around basically. Yeah. yeah. So it wasn't handed down like from family members in the in the music or nothing like that? No, but my <laughs> my uncle is, is a blues guitarist and singer. His name is Bobby Slim James in Chicago. He's a Chicago legend. Uh huh. I started playing with him in clubs before I could even read music. So, you know, I just didn't know what I was doing, just trying to be soulful with him, you know, uh -huh. trying to catch the vibe in Chicago. So that definitely gave me a, a edge, I think, over the music because I started feeling it right away. Mm. So that's when I, my head got into the music with the theory. It was more effortless because mm -hmm. I knew I was already doing most of the stuff that I was learning. Yeah, you knew the end result already. Exactly. You just had to find a, the, the they, people. So you get deep in the game and mm -hmm. got the rules missing. Right. You had to learn the rules. Yeah. I get that, man. Maurice Mo Better Brown. He's at the Blue Note Jazz Club tonight. Make sure you check him out. Bizzle, what do you think of this kid, man? I think it's amazing. Um, congratulations and thank you, thank you for the inspiration. Um, for me, um, jazz was different you know um growing up in jersey i remember hearing the word jazz and automatically thinking new orleans you know and right. just hearing about this vibe and you go through some alleyway and you stumble across <laughs> a spot and it's like smoky and sexy and and then that was one vibe and then i remember my grandparents talking about harlem mm -hmm. and the jazz scene in harlem and afterwards people would go and get chicken and waffles and that's sort of where the popularity of chicken and waffles came from the jazz scene in harlem mm -hmm. and and the certain drinks and, and different things like that but for chicago i've never heard the so what what's the style of jazz or is there a style yeah well chicago's really known for their blues a lot mm. but the style of jazz that's most uh popping in chicago believe it or not is avant-garde so it's okay. sort of free jazz mm -hmm. you know uh, yeah so that's where you get the a aacm okay you know and uh this is all the the creative musicians that that spent their whole life on like being able to create music without boundaries uh -huh. you know so i grew up in that 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 vibe, world yeah they, 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 there's no wrong right you know i'm like really uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you telling me there's no <laughs> wrong i'm like yeah okay, so, yeah so i was already open from that already then with the blues it was just a natural thing for mm -hmm. me so my next step was to go to new orleans because so i wanted to go down there and, and eat the food and breathe the air and drink the water that those great trumpeters were, were right. doing you know from um Louis Armstrong mm -hmm. to to Terrence Blanchard to Nicholas Payton. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I, I got to go down there. Got There's it. something yeah. going down there, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They had the little kids playing. And it was like trombone shorty. Uh -huh. He couldn't. The trombone was bigger than him. He right. was just walking. <laughs> a, <laughs> he was Bobby. like Troy. Yeah, yeah Troy. He was playing and then played trumpet. And I was like, man, this is crazy. Wow. Uh -huh. It's real competitive, New Orleans, because they don't really accept people if you're not from there. You know, oh, so okay. that's that's the thing. Like I, I they they were calling me New Orleans adopted son when I was down there because I wow. I won all the awards there, like Big Easy Award for Contemporary Jazz, Offbeat All Star Award, had a steady gig at Snug Harbor on Frenchman Street, mm -hmm. sell it out every night, yes, every Tuesday. Yeah, you came. Yeah, you went. It with your numbers. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. It's what it is. It's not. A, I put for, the I put that work in. You know. Thank okay. you for sharing that because I didn't know what the vibe was in Chicago with it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So you the first artist of. 2020 that we have up performing artists that we have on the show yep all right you're kicking off the new year for us you set realize that, right? yeah. let's set the vibe right you got a project called the mood that came out in 2018 yeah 2018 um and then you also have um a, a, a album was called maurice versus mo better that was years ago mm -hmm. and uh was that the album that prodigy was on yeah prodigy was on there and consequence and consequence gene gray mm -hmm. dj scratch mm -hmm. mm. yeah it was uh it's pretty dope you know eric krasno mm -hmm. and, and adam deitch from the fire department and lettuce they were on that yeah um i had a great time making that record man <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah well, well the the album's called The Cycle of Love. That's my album. It's basically a remix album. Okay. Maurice versus Mo Better. Uh -huh. It's the jazz versus the hip-hop side of me going back and forth. So I had all the songs remixed, and then we wrote songs to it. So it's like Talib spitting on it and, you know, Consequences spitting and Prodigy and me were just, like, rapping over it. and It's, it's a whole other thing, you know. it's I, I'm glad that we did it, and 
it got me a lot closer in uh especially in the underground hip hop scene mm -hmm. I had cuz it got me a lot of respect I had people started paying uh, real close attention to what I was doing and that helped me get more brothers and sisters into my shows mm -hmm. cuz people started oh yeah I heard that that record you did you know they got curious and wanted to hear more of that horn and hear more of what we were doing so that was definitely a gateway to into the the whole hip hop world 888-742-3345. You want to talk to Maurice Mo Better Brown? I'll add him. Yeah, citizens. 888-742-3345. Stand up. Woo. We got Maurice Mo Better Brown is here playing at the uh, Blue Note Jazz Club um, later tonight. Yeah. He got so many stories. He he tells better. He tells his best stories when the mics are off. <laughs> you know, I'm like, yo, why do you say that for the air? We were uh, talking about his carrying case, Heather, because mm -hmm. I was, you know, telling Mo that, you know, when I used to play uh, clarinet and then alto sax, and then when I used to play bass clarinet, the cases, like his case, is like it looks. You, you'll see it on a video if you. Go to Sway's Universe. Yeah. This is like a traveling case. Yo, right. that look fly. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> he getting paid well, yeah. It's a leather case, and you don't even imagine that an instrument is in it. And then I went to say, yo, this is pretty dope. And then you told me you collaborating with who now? Uh, with Gucci, yeah. We making the, the Mo Better trumpet case, so... Really excited about that. He got his own trumpet case line wow. coming out with Gucci. Oh. Gucci! When I That's say he huge. got his own trumpet case, I mean he got his own trumpet case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm exactly. That's man. fly. Hey, who, who's um, who, who's that artist that you played with that just kind of uh, starstruck you? Oh man, it's, it's, that's, that's a hard one because I always stay amazed. You know what I okay. mean? So. My eyes is always bright whenever I'm in a moment and just just feeling so alive. It, maybe it has to be Stevie though. Stevie one. Yeah, that was the the time when I played with Stevie the first time. It was a uh, pretty surreal. I was thinking like, wow, this is really happening right now. Where is Indonesia? Uh huh. And, then, <laughs> and I was like, man, you know, and he was he touched my shoulder. It was like, oh man, that's a nice sweater you got on. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's surreal. Yeah, so I think Stevie probably the one that got me getting uh, a little, little jittery. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Yeah. 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 Did, did he give um, cues or kind of discuss format with you guys? No. Show y'all just played. No, that's the one of the beautiful things about uh, the vibe of most of the people that I've been messing with lately. Like it's less talking. We talk about life and stuff, and then we get in the studio. It's just time to play. Like. We know what to do. It's instinct, you know? Uh-huh. With, with, with Anderson, uh, Pat, we, we don't do a lot of talking about music. We we do a lot of living, you know what I mean? So uh -huh. that, that translates through the music, mm. you know? So that's um, the vibe. Anderson is somebody I've known for a long, 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 long time. Yeah. Uh, and to see him reach this pinnacle right now, how how is he? You know, how what is it like for him to come from the realm he comes from, to be at, on the top of it? What, what are you noticing? What are you observing? I, I see I see the changes, you know, mm -hmm. but it's it's all positive. I think he's handling everything with grace and mm -hmm. uh, I I'm proud of him. When I, I see him go and like people are, are around me all the time and tell me, Man, you got so much energy when your energy's off the chain and I have never been around somebody who had me humbled with my energy because his energy is off the chain. Like uh -huh. <laughs> he don't get tired, he go from the drums running up front. Crowd surfing, jumping back, mm -hmm. rapping, singing, wow. <laughs> dancing, crazy. Moon walking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I say, man, okay, no excuses. Go time, yeah, you go know. Time. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, Maurice Mo Better Brown here. So, <clears throat> when, 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 obviously the musician stuff for you is second nature because you've been playing so long. But on the hip hop side, to to jump on the microphone with some guys who are notorious mic beasts. Right. Uh, um, where did your hip hop inspiration begin? Where did it start? And 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 how were you able to to match it with this level of intensity? I think it started with me, just my love for the music and being a producer. So that was always what got me in the door. It was being a producer and being a horn arranger. So I used to work, I still do, I start work with the best producers in the world from, you know, Pete Rock. Oh, I'm actually damn. a soul brother too, so. Damn. You a soul brother? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, number two, soul yeah, brother number yeah, two? Yeah, we go, we, we, <laughs> <laughs> we do a touring and all kind of stuff too, so I, I mess with, shout out to Pete. Yeah, you shout know, out to Pete. Shout out to Pete. Pete. Just, soul you know, brother number three. Just Blaze, you oh, know, Just wow. Blaze Knee Horns, like the homie, like all these dope 
dope producers. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. from, from Just Blaze to Kanye to to everybody from Peter Cottontail with Chance the Rapper to mm-hmm. just you know Bongo, all these cats. And, like we just making beautiful music nonstop, man. And it just it's I feel blessed, you know, like to wow. just wake up every day and just do my thing, you know. Yeah, you, got a, you got a smile. On. What what horn arrangements did you do for Kanye? Well, Kanye, you know, the, the funny thing about Kanye is he's working on an album right now with Chance right now. Yeah. So I'm, I got a hand in that, doing some tracks with that, so I'm really excited about that. Okay. But one thing that really, this is a story about Kanye, um, you know, I got that track because that's the Havoc track. So uh-huh. Havoc did From that Bob track. Deep. Right. Uh-huh. So Havoc had it and sent it to Ski Beats. Mm-hmm. And then Ski Beats hit me up because he's talking to Ye, and Ye was like, I need horns. So they send it to me to put horns on it. I'm in the midst of like five other sessions, right, for mad people. I get that call. I stop everything. I say, okay, let's knock this out. I'm listening to the track. It's it's not trapped out. It's kind of like old school. I'm hearing it. I put the horns on it. Kill the horns. I'm like, this is going to be huge when it's come out. <laughs> I'm getting ready to press send, right, to send it back. Ski Beats hits me back. He goes, yo, yo, yeah, he changed his mind about the horns. He's going to trap it out. Oh, oh, wow. Did he ever hear the horns? He never even heard the damn horns. <laughs> and every time I listen to the song, I'm singing the horn parts. Like, what song is that? What song, what song, what song, what song? Father Stretch My Hand. Yes, Part Father Stretch My Hand. Life of Pablo. Oh. Do you have the song? Thank you, Tracy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's her joint, by the way. <laughs> you don't have that song in the, the session in your phone or nothing, do you? I don't have it in my phone. It's in my computer. Where your computer at? I didn't bring it. So you're going to have to come back. Yeah, I'm going to definitely come back. <laughs> I see that. Uh, Maurice Mo Better Brown is here performing at the Blue Note Jazz Club tonight. I keep saying that because as you hear him speak, he's humble. He got a lot of humility. But this dude, this dude right here, man, has done it. He has an incredible career, and he's only on the first quarter. Mike Mews, you got a question? Yeah, what's up, Mo? Uh, what's up, congratulations, man, on your career, man. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so I used to be back in the days to be part of an all-city jazz band in Lansing. Okay. So I used to play the alto. And so the improv used to be my thing. Wait, wait, hold up, hold, hold up. on, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, Mo. Hold on. Sorry, Mo. Hold on. Hold you played the alto? I did, yeah. Did you read music? Of course, why wouldn't I? What tra- <laughs> Watch this. I was a drum major from marching band. I conducted what, music. What, what, uh, what, what, what cleft was alto sax in? Trouble. Wait, say that again? Triple clef. Oh, wow. Rich? Okay. Why would you quiz me on that? <laughs> oh, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> you know, because, Mike, we have never oh. heard you say this. Right, because I play trumpet. I, I don't tell my whole story it, up here. You know, okay. okay, go ahead. So what happened? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Mo, so, we, we, hey, you got to have receipts in this room, Mo. <laughs> you can't just say, yeah, I climbed Mount Everest. Yeah, show me the picture. Yeah, you know, right? you know. yeah. All right, go I ahead. I just my church and everything. Okay. Um, but oh. question for you, but I'm curious, because when I was playing, we used to be just, just nothing but old individuals, kind of going through the conversation and talking about the demographic that currently exists in jazz right now, consumers and fans, if you will. So that's why I'm excited for you, John Baptiste, those types. What can be done to introduce jazz to like a new audience of a younger generation to get them excited to participate? You know, because right now, only thing we still think about is the greats, like the Miles Davis, yeah. right, the Charlie Parkers, right. That's what comes to mind. Well, I think it has a lot to do with uh, the music evolving and us uh, not being so critical over the jazz because people don't want jazz to to change. You know, that's the thing. It's like yeah. oh, traditional jazz, and they got the jazz police, and then everyone's hovering over it like is that jazz and questioning it mm. when actually us living in the times right now we should be able to listen to music and hear a time period that's how music is you know you listen to something it could be timeless but you could still date it mm-hmm. you know what i remember that that's when trump was in office you know mm-hmm. that's when you know what i mean mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. that's when they was trying to start world war three i remember that mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. you can listen to the music and you can get a feeling for it. So I feel like the more that you zone in on, on the music and the times right now and really are honest with yourself with what you put out and not worried about what everyone else is saying is the closer that you can touch people. I think that's what kids, that's what younger people, older people, everybody's going to connect with, the truth, honesty. You know, mm-hmm. when, when you're trying to sugarcoat something or overdo something, it's not gonna. It's not gonna come off as as authentic as you want it to. You know what I mean. You want it to come straight to the heart. There it is. Yeah. Shelton's on the line from North Carolina. Shelton, you have a question. What's up, Shelton? Hey, Shelton. Hey, yes, I do. First, um, happy birthday to you, Mo Better. I uh, ran across your music by chance, uh, just by listening on uh, 
a YouTube station for a particular type of music and ran across your music last year and have been listening since. So I'm uh, becoming a big fan. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, my question is, uh, I hear you playing pretty much one type of uh, trumpet. Are you going to branch off and start playing different types of instruments? Um, yeah, I, pl I play uh, a lot of different instruments. Trumpet is my main instrument. I play all brass. Uh, I play some keys. I play some drums, especially on my tracks. I'm really good at playing like instruments on my tracks. <laughs> yeah, I'm really fluent on that. But uh, yeah, this is my. I always wanted to play saxophone. That's one instrument that I think I would like to take up. You know, because that that was my my first choice as an instrument was a saxophone. But I wind up playing trumpet somehow. Okay. Hey, 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 Shelton, great question, man. You're a citizen. Tracy, you got Sweet a question? Morning. Yes, I do. Mo, for new musicians who are probably going into their first session, can you break down, like, what to expect? Like, when they walk in, would they think that someone will be like, yo, I just had this idea in my head. Let me play it. Should they come and initiate ideas that they have? Like, what the, do some sessions sound like? Well, I think one of the main things uh, – in session work is to add to the vibe but not step on any toes. So if you can get in there and play something or compose something that felt like it was already there, but it's, if you take it out, you're missing it. <laughs> mm. That's the key. That's what gets you in. You know, like, mm -hmm. that's when people go, wait a second, where the horns at? You know, where's that? Something wrong with the vibe. Something It's not the same. Then, oh, put the horns back in. Okay, there it is. Uh -huh. It set, sets it off. So you got to make yourself... Uh, uh, necessary, you right. know what I'm saying? Like you Ooh. can't just be a, uh, just just do whatever and think that you're not you know not easily replaceable. You right. got to make yourself irreplaceable. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that irreplaceable. <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce said that. Um, this trumpet you have right here. Yep. I don't know if any of you have ever seen a 24 karat gold trumpet inside out. If you haven't, this will be your first one. Wow. That's all gold. All gold Come everything. On, Come on, baby. Okay. And did they dip it or is made of all gold? Well, how they make this horn is uh I made it from scratch, right? Uh -huh. in, in Switzerland. So this factory independent that made this horn for me, if you order one right now online, it'll take you a year and a half to get. That's how I back ordered that. Wow. wow. And all handmade. So they shut the factory down for me for five days. And we made this horn. Like everyone in the factory just focused on the horn. And I saw it from a sheet of metal. So they start with a horn. You can't make it solid, just gold, because it wouldn't sound right. It starts mm -hmm. with a raw brass, straight raw brass, and then it's double dipped in 24 karat gold. And it just made the sound so much richer and darker and just... Sweet. Yeah. How much yeah, that sweet. cost though to make? Like how much? Is, what they what they go for on the open market? Yeah, as I was say, it, what it cost me, it cost me nothing. The, yeah. They made it for me because uh -huh. I endorsed the company. Uh huh. You know, but a horn like this probably it's for about twenty two. Mm. Twenty two thousand. Yeah. Wow. Twenty two thousand. Twenty-two thousand? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Because they're making it. From, oh! It's one of a kind. It's like <laughs> it's hundred. Wait, wait. Do you see the curves? In it? Yeah. Wait, wait. I made these curves like this, so every time I play, I never disrespect the curves. You know. Ooh. No matter how excited I get, I'm like, wait a second now. Let's see if that thing for twenty-two thousand actually works right now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that baby to wow, work. You gotta play that shit amazing. every day. That's amazing. <laughs> you know, yo, okay. You wow. you got a song called um. Shenanigans. Yeah, shenanigans. I want to play the way it starts off, because when I first heard it, I was like, ooh, that's so ill. And then see if we could play, play it real quick. Play it real quick. Got them here live in the right, studio. True, true, true. <laughs> Can we let's improv some something yeah, off the let's top? Do, let's do it. Okay. 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 Do. okay. Well, uh, with the you, you put the trumpet down. You trying to get to the mic first or the trumpet no, it first? It don't matter. You know? 
Let's get to the trumpet first. Maurice Mobetta Brown, man. Can you can you play something over this right here, man? Oh, he's standing up. Oh, so let me get off the two. Oh, right. Ben Williams in the house. Oh. <laughs> Producer extraordinaire. Yeah, you might as well take that out your uh, case right there, brother. <laughs> Can't come late and just sit down. You gotta, <laughs> the show must go on, brother. You got a whole audience right here. <laughs> come on. And Ben, you gonna be at you gonna be at Blue Note tonight too? Okay, you're gonna be jamming out too. All three nights been there. All three nights. Let's see if you can uh, put some headphones on so you can hear what's going on underneath. And then uh we're gonna just jam out a little bit. Hey, hey still, you see how we doing it. Man, I love it. Man, I love it. Hey, how you doing, man? Hey, y'all want to talk to them? 888-742-3345. Jam Ooh. session on Sway in the morning. Come on. that shenanigans for me. Yeah. We'll come back. Shenanigans. Shade 4 5, man. Big round of applause right there. Maurice Mo Better Brown. What up, baby? Mo, What's introduce up? who we got What's with us right now, man. Right now, we got Ben Williams, the great Ben Williams on bass, producer, vocalist, singer. He's singing now and shit. Okay. Just, <laughs> this man, GC's yeah. finest. Ben, can you play yeah. to this? Uh, Repping DC. DC, stand up. Turn his headphones up. Turn his headphones up. The bass. Turn the bass up.
Yo, Ben, won't you keep playing for a second, man? And, it, and Mo was bragging about his lyrical skills. Uh -oh. I heard we got a hyena up in here. From the horn to the mic. What? 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 Okay. What? 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm so fly. Fuck it. I can't lie. I need a hundred thousand just so I can get by for the week. Sit back. Yo, this is my treat. Hip hop don't start to this complete. Cause I'm so fly. I can't lie. I need a hundred thousand just so I can get by for the week. Sit back. Yo, this is my treat. Hip hop don't start to this complete. It's a crack and everything. That's how I like this in. So I flip the switch, illuminate the block from within. He had it again. Out the door, no patent, no pen. A man without sin. It's kind of like a man with no skin. You know, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. And life is a lesson. And we all have to take stop that chick chat kick cat here to give me a break hit that click clap get back damn it's too late uh, i'm getting older but fuck it i'm getting colder can't stop now got the jammers on my shoulders shit have these boulders but i use them as motors the combination plus this vague status quota i play with dough like play dough i lay goes try to scrap my squilla bitch no way ho i lay low in the last stacking these pesos you the best person around to say so Let's go. Let's go, Sway of the Morning, Shade 4 5. First MC of 2020, Maurice Mo Better Brown. Hey yo, NY, stand up, fuck it, get your hands up. Move better on the move on here, they get these grands up. Yeah, I stand tough, even through the aftermath. Real life is a test, and it gotta pass. Keep my focus so it's clear like an open path. I never mind great clouds from the overcast. And I pray to God I like hold a different path. Fame and force was the life that they never had. If a knowledge and power, truth be the tower. Thunders and showers, bring down on these cowards. Who ain't got the heart to fight? More better coming through the night. Banging with the heart and life, get it right, never twist it. More better. Better twist it, more better spiss it. Sold out, brings on to a ready to rip it. Uh, musically gifted, chuck to I'm lifted. No, it ain't a damn thing, and he gon' let that bass sing. And it don't stop, and it don't quit. If you in the spot, it's a perfect fit. Come on. And it don't stop, and it don't quit. If you in the spot, you love real shit. Okay. So check that microphone, it's that nigga Mo better keeping you in the zone Feel like every single track is your favorite song Sold you out, it's the name of Iggy and we belong We got the game so tight nigga it can't be wrong Feel you got something to say you better watch your tone Wanna step up to the place and get back at home Realize as you can't mess with this cause this is homegrown I rock the mic violent for real listen close to what I say cause this is the deal uh, We the real definition of live music we don't just vibe with it we get live with it uh, you know we do the damn thing, let the beat bang. Proud feeling all the real soul that it bring. Love for the music, got them tweaking like dope fiends. So give them what they need, everybody scream. Hey! And it don't stop, and it don't quit. If you in the spot, it's a perfect fit. Come on. Hey. Yeah. You might as well go a couple more rounds, Mo. I know you ain't done. Never done. Come on. It's prime time equals my time. Who wants you know make the beats play the horn and rhyme? Shine so bright, it'll make you blind. So it's best not to look a nigga dead in the eye. I'ma do me, that's nothing but the music. Take what you want, but just don't abuse it. There's some things in my life that you wouldn't believe. So you know I got a few more tricks up my sleeve. It's not in me to underachieve. These fools better learn how to bob and weave. Cause we're cooking up these hits and they blowing that steam. Shit is hotter than the sun, man. You know what that means? So shy but blow, let the truth be told Miss a lot of drama so we breaking the mold Yeah it won't be long for you singing our song And if you can't hear the real music move the fuck on Come on One more beat Mo, put, put, that, put that horn on it though Put that horn on this beat You can put that horn on this, that'll be crazy
get a bass up. If you're in your car, stand up in it. Let's go, let's go. If you're on the treadmill, stand up. Stop running. Yeah, yeah. If you're in your class, stand up. If you're on the street, stand up. If you're in your office, stand up. The one and only Maurice Robert Brown. Take my jacket off. Like, we in the studio I, I, right man. now. I feel like I was playing right there. Right, we warmed up now. Oh, yeah, we warmed up. Y'all warmed up now. Oh, man. Yeah. What you talking about? We just warming up. Wow. wow. Shit. Wait till to see. That's the thing about tonight. Tonight is and this whole week for this birthday celebration. I want everyone to step outside of their comfort zones and create something bigger than ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, Amen. just go for it, man. There ain't no right and wrong. That's the Chicago way, right? Yeah. I told y'all already. So we just gonna go out to have a good time. Of course, we're going to play a couple of my hits, play a couple of uh, Anderson's hits to, today, and then a couple of Talib's hits tomorrow. But mostly, I want to create new stuff. Uh -huh. I want us to have a new experience. I want us to leave feeling fulfilled like, damn, we, we saw something tonight that that's not going on anywhere else in the world. It's Amen. special. You know, it's, that, that's what it is. It's unplugged. And we're going live and direct at the Blue Note. I'm so, so excited. 8 o'clock at 1030. Be. You yeah. should be. Yeah. Like, um, God bless you both. It's just so Indeed. beautiful to see two people, two men, tapped into their purpose and their spirit. And I'm telling you, if I know people listening to this right now was like, what just what, happened? What I the, just went somewhere spiritually. The, yeah. You know, that's how good it feels. It's beautiful to see and witness and be a part of this today, man. Bless y'all both. This is it's crazy. I keep saying the names because I want you to remember it, look it up. If you're not following them, Ben, you got social? Social yeah. media? What is your social media? Yeah, it's uh, Ben WMS on base. Okay. Wow. And then Mo, go ahead. What's yours? Um, Maurice Brown Music on IG, Maurice Brown Music. So, okay, and, it, and Mo Better Brown on Mo Better Brown on Twitter. Twitter. Okay, I wanted to say about Ben too, like he real humble, but he just got a new a new record that came out. Tell him about your record, bro. Yeah, um, actually it's on the way. Uh, it's coming out February seventh. Uh -huh. um, it's called I Am a Man, and uh, it's basically um, it's essentially like an exploration of the black male psyche. Mm. You know, so it's a you know the title is a throwback from the um, it's a reference to the nineteen sixty eight Memphis sanitation workers strike. Uh -huh. And uh, but you know I wanted to bring it into a modern context, so um, you know just exploring different themes of like just black male humanity, mm -hmm. um, everything from you know like spirituality to addiction to police brutality, mm -hmm. um, you know kind of just what goes on. A lot of stuff we don't get to talk about. And um, it's a lyrical yeah. 
composition as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, I'm singing, playing bass, you know. Can, give me a potent, music. give me a sample of one of your potent verses that really I, mm. identify to that theme of, you know, the black okay. male psy psyche because being a black male, I want to see how you hit this. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> all, right, so, all right, yeah. yeah. That's what we come in to okay. do. All right. Um, so I have this one track. This is actually the the first single. It's called, um, it's, uh, called If You Hear Me. Dope. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope you would do that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this is out right now. This um, it's, it's been out for a couple of months, and um, you know, kind of in the spirit of Marvin Gaye. Uh, let me see. So he says, uh, "Why didn't you come for me? Left me all alone, no. And why didn't you stay with me?" This place is not a home, no Why would you say to me That love is all we have, no Has thou forsaken me While I walk the righteous path, no, no, no Nah, nah, nah You hear me calling for you. La 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 la. La 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 la. And if you hear me calling for you. La 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 la. That's so, nice. yeah. It's, you know. <laughs> Trip down, unplugged. Yeah, right. man. Man, that sounds good, bro. Man, congratulations, man. Yeah. You from DC? From DC, yeah. Yeah. Why you ain't playing go go, dog? Oh, it's it's always in there. Oh, okay. It's, it's, in oh, there. okay. <laughs> it's, it's playing in my head right it's now. In your head right now. <laughs> yeah. He sub uh, sub the vibes in go uh, go go. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you worked with like uh, the King Loses or the Wallays or the, you know the in the D the the Noids, all the DC type artists? Oh yeah, yeah. I know oh. um know all those cats. Uh, okay. Yeah, um yeah, a lot of homies that rock with Wale. Uh, you know, backyard. Like you know, I grew up on all that stuff. Rare Essence. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, I mean Chuck. Yeah, you know, of course. Godfather. Godfather. Chuck, man, you okay. gotta mention Come Godfather. Yeah. Chuck is the man. So, yeah, you couldn't leave oh, unless you mentioned Chuck. I was waiting for you to say that. I mean, uh, that's, <laughs> that's, you say go go. That's you know, yeah. that's synonymous with you know, that's the Godfather foundation. Oh. Okay, uh, man, this is great, man. I'm gonna take these two calls, but I want to thank y'all for coming up here this morning. Absolutely. This is great, man. Josh, what up? He's upstate New York. Josh, what you want to say? Yo, I just want to thank, say thank you, fellas. I appreciate what you're doing. That shit earlier had me bumping. I'm driving down to Philly right now. Yeah. Transcending, man. Yeah, people. I agree, cool. Heather. I, I would sound, Josh, like, I, you know, I never get to listen to Sirius much on a, in, my, in a car because I own a car, but how would it sound with you in a car? It was bumping pretty nice in the view. It was picking up the bass a little light, could have gone a little heavy on the bass. Yeah. You okay. know, but it sounded good in the car. Okay, I'm good. I'm not going to lie. There it is. Josh, you're a citizen, man. So ain't the Josh knows, Appreciate too. You. He would tell you if he didn't. Engineer oh, Josh. Yeah, that's Josh for you, man. That's how Josh is. Steven in Texas, good morning. How you doing? Pretty good, man. How y'all doing? Hey. Great, man. I appreciate your patience. Hey. Steven hey. has been on hold maybe 25 minutes. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah man. Um, hey, I've been over here jamming, man. Uh, I'm also driving, too. I've, I've been driving all night, coming from Cali, going to Louisiana. So I've been, I've been riding and, and listening, man, and shit that hearing that this morning just woke me up man I, that was nice you know it's interesting a, it's St steven it, it, it's really important that we support these artists especially um jazz artists you know um they bring in the most highest frequency quality music to the game that's not being listened to as much as the uh, low-hanging fruit mm -hmm. and that's okay you need the yin and the yang uh, but you got to show your support by streaming their music you know, when these projects come out, uh, if they're in your town, go to the shows. Yeah. You know, really yeah. support these artists. Um, Steven, thanks, man. You're a super citizen. Sway in the morning. Gentlemen, man, thank you, man. I, For real. Thank you, thank you, you bro. Good, you had a good time? Man. Hell yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I just want to tell you that uh, this year... I'm be on the lookout for new music because I'm putting out music every month. This I'm not playing this year. Really? Like, yeah, every new month. content every month. So definitely... 
stay stay tuned to the socials and see when they drop. Okay, that's what's up. And then how does that Chance and uh, Kanye project sound? It's pretty amazing from what I've heard so far. Yeah. Like, how yeah. many tracks you hear? Probably like three. But it, it's, it's yeah. moving slow, but it's moving fast. I heard there's way more tunes than that, but that's all That's all that I've heard so far. Okay, yeah. that's good. I know it's uplifting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, spiritual. Um, and did you add anything to the tracks yet? Yeah, I got a couple tracks with Peter we working mm-hmm. on. So, yeah, it's super dope. We super did, dope. Yeah. Oh, that's dope, man. They just give you leeway and go... Put yeah. you, put your funk on it. Yeah, what you got? Let's see what you got. That's dope. I'm gonna make it more better, you know, if I'm in the spot. Uh, What's uh, that for, uh, man? Uh, uh, oh, I might go do one more. Uh, uh, one more. Uh, uh, one more. What, what you want, Wanda? Uh, Wanda uh, making uh, request. Uh, uh, With the horns? Yeah, see what the... we can do. With the horns. Okay. Okay. And the bass. Uh, uh, okay. Right. Little Sway okay. in the Morning vibe. Little Sway in the Morning Ooh. vibe. Ooh. Little right. intro, uh, outro. Make sure you go to On Demand and hit us back. <laughs> SiriusXM.com. What's the name of your show? Sway in the Morning. Be more chiller than a villa next to the water. Sexy waitress with my patience taking your order. Got my drink and my dink about a quarter past noon. I'm thinking it's too soon. The scent of your perfume last night was a full moon. I'm resting today, so content in this living room. I hear what you're saying. Now step aside and give me some room. Uh, I dream of you in colors that don't exist. My mind is underlined with powers beyond the mist, and I can do it by myself. I never need no assist. I insist that you always be on and don't miss. And don't miss. And I insist that you always be on and don't miss. Oh. Yeah, you entertain 
right now. Maurice Mobetta Brown, you in the tri-state area. Come join us tonight. I say join us at the Blue Note Jazz Club. 8 p.m. showtime, 10.30 showtime tonight, tomorrow night, Wednesday night. Make sure you make it tonight. Crazy. It's going to be all right, Ben Williams, on that face, baby. You can't go wrong with that. Let it I rock. Come on, man. Yeah, man. Big round of applause, man. Way to start our year off. Hey, hey. Thanks for having us, bro. Oh, man. That's all love, man. All love. All love. Man, your project, you got to come back. You're welcome here. Absolutely. All right? Absolutely, Tell the team. Tell everybody. You know we had Glasper up here. Yeah, yeah. We had uh, John up here. You know, and that's what we doing. You know, oh, yeah. and then um, shout out to Julius. Our little homie. What's his last name? Rodriguez. 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 Yeah. And it's a young man I just bumped into at a jazz club. Okay. I was, oh, didn't even expect incredible. to see anything. And this young man was playing those keys so crazy. Heather, I sat up front like a groupie. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they're throwing my number. Call me, Julius. Call me. Come to the show. He was right. <laughs> yeah, be on Come the lookout. To the, Come sure. to the show, man. And then he was at Soul in the Horn Friday. Soul in the Horn. Julius was the one on the keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. And, then, and then he hit me after Soul in the Horn and was like, yo, I heard you was here. And I was like, you were there? You know, but anyway, gentlemen, love you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Keep it. Your music is so necessary. Yeah, man. It's to your point, translating the times through chords, you know, it's it's, it's so, and sound, you know, and what, we, what we're going through here in this time and era, we need y'all. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. <laughs> that's, like, that's why you called that song Shenanigans, because the world is full of the shenanigans that's taking place. Yeah, it's, it's Appreciate y'all, man.